وَلَمَّا بَلَغَ أَشُدَّهُ آتَيْنَاهُ حُكْمًا وَعِلْمًا وَكَذَلِكَ نَجْزِي الْمُحْسِنِينَ Prophet Yusuf not only grew up to be a handsome young man, but also he was blessed with exceptional knowledge and wisdom by Allah. Right after Prophet Yusuf was taken to the house of Al-Aziz, or the chief officer of the king, his honesty won the heart of Al-Aziz, that he placed him in charge of his household. During this period, Prophet Yusuf was confronted with his second trial when the wife of Al-Aziz tried to allure him into committing a heinous sin. But he was resolute in his faith and sought refuge in Allah from this evil. However, after rejecting her advances, Prophet Yusuf was unjustly thrown into jail. Allah blessed Prophet Yusuf with an extraordinary gift, the ability to interpret dreams. In prison, two of his cellmates sought to have their dreams explained, and he interpreted their dreams and told one of them that he'd be released and asked him to remind the king of his innocence. But unfortunately, the man forgot, and Prophet Yusuf remained in prison for many years. Years later, the king of Egypt had a dream. Perplexed as to its meaning, he related it to his advisors to interpret it, but to no avail. Only then, the one who was with Prophet Yusuf in jail recalled the power of his cellmate, who correctly interpreted his own dreams years earlier in prison. He asked to be sent to see Prophet Yusuf in jail, where he narrated the dream to him, requesting its meaning. From the springs of wisdom and knowledge that Allah had granted him, Prophet Yusuf disclosed to his friend the interpretation of the king's vision. He said that for seven years, the crops will yield abundant food grain, but after that, there will be a famine for seven years and he further advised what the people of Egypt should do in the face of the approaching drought. It was due to his skill, knowledge, and honest advice that Prophet Yusuf was released from prison with his dignity restored, and thus he was established the chief minister of Egypt, bearing the title of Al-Aziz, and he began his new duties, determined that when drought arrived, nobody should starve. The wheel of time turned, the barren years began, with the famine and the drought, affecting the neighboring lands to Egypt as well. When Prophet Yaqub heard that the chief minister of Egypt would sell grains to the needy nations, he dispatched his sons to buy wheat from Egypt, keeping home the younger son. When the brothers arrived in Egypt and were ushered in to see Prophet Yusuf, he recognized them immediately, but they didn't. After asking them some questions, he ordered for his brothers to be given as much grain as they could carry, making clear to them that they wouldn't receive any grain from him in the future, unless they bring along their youngest brother. Soon, the brothers were out of grain. They were impatient to go back to Egypt to get more. And so they tried to convince their father to let their youngest brother accompany them. Prophet Yaqub refused, saying they would do the same thing with him as they did to Prophet Yusuf. After repeated promises, 
The brothers convinced him to let their brother accompany them to Egypt. When they reached Egypt with their youngest brother, Prophet Yusuf was happy to see his brother. After receiving their requirements, Yusuf put his action, a plan, to detain his young brother. So before their departure, Prophet Yusuf ordered his men to put a gold cup in his young brother's bag. The brothers hadn't gone very far when they were stopped and accused of stealing. They denied it, but by searching them, the cup was found in the young brother's bag, and so he was detained. They begged Prophet Yusuf to release him and take one of them instead, as their old father had lost his eyesight, crying over his other son, who was lost in the past, and would probably die if he heard this news. However, Prophet Yusuf refused. When the brothers returned home and told Prophet Yaqub about what had happened, he was heartbroken and asked them to go back to Egypt and look for their young brothers. When they returned, Prophet Yusuf reminded them of how badly they had treated their brother Yusuf. It didn't take long for them to realize this was indeed their long-lost brother, and they began to tremble in fear and shame. But Prophet Yusuf had no desire to take revenge on them. He asked them to take his shirt and cover his father's face with it, so he would regain his lost eyesight and then to return back to Egypt with all their family. The brothers cast Prophet's use of shirt over their father's face, and Allah miraculously restored his eyesight. They begged their father to seek Allah's forgiveness for them, and together they all set off to Egypt, where Prophet Yusuf warmly welcomed them, and then they lived together.